Good morning and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is faithful and true. He will never leave you nor forsake you, but He'll always be right there where you are. Today, you might not feel like the Lord is with you. Sometimes we don't always wake up feeling like He's right here with us, but God is with us. He's faithful to do exactly what He has said, what He has promised. And if we search the Word as we are supposed to, we find out that He says it many times, that He would never leave us nor forsake us. Uh, the title of this message is, uh, God does not walk away. He doesn't walk away. And as I was reading this morning, Psalm 23, I was thinking to myself how I want to stay right there where He is. I never want to leave Him, because it's so easy for us to get up and walk away. It's so easy for us to get up and feel anxious to do everything else that is that needs to be done t today. It's easy just to wander in your mind to be some other places. What I'm really what I'm really saying is that it's not so much the physical as it is the mental. It's so easy to walk away in our mind someplace else. It says in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And I'm going to stay right there on Psalm, 1, on Psalm 23, verses 1 through 3. You know, we can go right through the rest of there and we can moan and cry out about how we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But you got to see this thing the right way. God has given us a new heart and a new mind. We rejoice that we have a new heart, meaning that our spirit is open to God. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ. But the mind in itself still has to be renewed. It still has to be rewritten. And God is willing to write His Word in your mind. He has put it in our spirit the day that we got saved. Yet we keep on looking at things after the outward, man. After the outward appearance and everything that passes through our eyes or every situation and circumstance, rather it pertains to us or or doesn't pertain to us, it seems to filter through our thoughts. And even as we sleep, strange things are happening. And therefore we wake up murky and not really knowing who we are, what we are, or even if God exists. But the devil is a liar, sowing a seed day and night to defeat us, to wear us down. It's called the wearing out of the saints. But when you come uh, violently towards the kingdom of God, you've got to take it by violence. Be take it. You have to take the kingdom of God by force, which means that you have to aggressively seek God, aggressively come after Him, not wishy-washy, wishing that He would help you. Oh, poor me. Look at this and look at that, God. God sees all of these things. He knows all of these things, and He's given us an answer if we would just settle our hearts in Him, if we would just settle down and understand, see where He has brought us, where He is taking us to. Even when we can't see it, He'll reveal His nature to you. He's predestined you before the foundation of the world. You are being made into the image of His Son, but you need to calm down. God knows all of your trouble, and it's not that we don't tell Him about it. But when we're seeking for God, we have to know what we're seeking for. Because it begins in the Spirit. Everything begins in the Spirit, where you cannot see. I want to remain where He is. I want to remain where He is taking me. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. So many people say, look at this and look at that. These things are happening in the world. And I can't, it's not that you don't, you're not looking at it and you don't see it, but you see it with a better eye. You know what motivates these things that are happening. 
you know what is talking to these people. Their father is from the kingdom of darkness. Their father is the devil himself. They are only doing what their father tells them to do. So we don't, we don't, you know, we're not sitting there being fearful about the situations of this world being overtaken by them, being moved in our heart and mind. We trust in what God said, that He has the victory over all flesh. He's the God of over all flesh. I know that, you know, my these, these audio files are going to be short because I can't get everything in here or they'd be hours long. You've got to understand that we're not looking... We're not just being passive Christians, but God is a God of vengeance who will take care of all of those things when we put our trust in Him. And then, then you'd say something like, well, nobody's going to come cut my head off, or nobody's going to just walk in my house and shoot me. You are protected by the Most High. We have a job to do in this earth. Don't worry about those things right now. Seek Him while He may be found. Pour out your heart before Him because He cares for you and let Him heal you wherever you hurt. Because many people are being called and they can't hear because everybody's operating in their own thoughts, in their own mind, rather than trusting in God and what God said. We need to hear what the Spirit is speaking to us so that we can do great exploits for our God, so that we can take the kingdoms and the nations for our God. He who began this great work in us, this great work, this great work of salvation, He is the light that is in us. His kingdom is a forever kingdom that reigns forever. It, the number must get bigger. Satan's not winning anything, people. He's not winning anything. Oh, he's, he's just stealing more and more souls. And they'll all get, it's just like a big waste. A very big waste. God already got victory when, when, when he kicked him out of heaven. God got victory when he raised Jesus from the dead. God got victory, has the victory over all flesh. The devil, the world, everything. There's nothing greater than him and his knowledge is unsearchable. But we can't keep looking after this outward man. We look after the outward man, we walk away from God. Because he doesn't tell us to honor the flesh like that. But to trust in him for all things. This is not just some wishy-washy thing to say, he makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. This is not a wishy-washy thing to follow the invisible God who is our shepherd who leads us into the paths of righteousness for his own namesake. God created this body. He knows what is good for everything that he's made. Yet when we live outside of those things by not trusting in what he said, whatever he said, and if you're waiting for me to tell you what he said, no, I'm not going to do that. Because the Spirit of God speaks to you expressingly about what you need to do today in this life the Lord will give you words like like he gave me yesterday to be patient in patience possess ye your souls be anxious for nothing but with all prayer and supplication make my request known before him to lay it down before him no matter how much time it might take for him to do whatever he's going to do with that I give it to him I trust him with it to keep on Perfecting is one of the things he told me yesterday. The Lord will speak to you if you will calm down and trust him. He doesn't speak just because you're crying and screaming and screaming and crying and venting. You need to be still and know that he is God. How's he going to lead you beside the quiet waters, the still waters, the peaceful waters? If you're sitting there having a fit, sobbing and sobbing uncontrollably just not trusting him and going on and on some people just like to talk about their situations more than they like the answer for the situation because when the Lord tells you something like in, in patience possess ye your souls you're like what <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you he will sit you somewhere 
where while everything is going on that that you feel shouldn't be going on in your life he'll sit you somewhere beside the still waters and in the green pastures and he'll be working on your soul he'll be working on your mind writing his word in your heart in your in your mind and you'll begin to consider and you'll begin to know and the things will start working out he's a faithful God who began a great work in us and in you in us and you and he'll complete it onto the day of Jesus Christ he's going to be working on us until the day Christ comes we have to know that we have to trust him with all of our heart with all of our mind with all of our strength we have to trust him that's what love really is trust in God because he's faithful we promised I'll keep saying it forever I think one of the last best things I ever preached was uh, I started out with God is faithful and I, I, I kept wondering why I kept saying that over and over again through what I was speaking about and even in the end I said God is faithful He is faithful He who began this great work in you will complete it onto the day of Christ Things are going to happen in this life We might like them, we might not like them most part we don't like them but all of our comfort is in him who comforts us he's not just carrying us around in his arm and protecting us off from all hurt and harm and danger he's the God who never walks away he gives us his son Emmanuel God with us he never leaves us he never forsakes us even as Jesus is on the cross crying out Eloi 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 my God, my God. He was not forsaken. He wasn't, I don't, I believe that the Lord, that the Father turned his, his, his back, but it was not like that. It just felt like that. Jesus felt everything that we feel. Everything that we feel. And he needed to feel that too. But God never leaves us alone forsakes us. He comes in. He picks us up. He washes us with his word. And we keep his word in our remembrance. He reminds us of his truth and we want to keep it. We want a heart that's clean. We want a mind that has changed. I started out talking about we are saved. Our spirit comes into the heavenly places in the seat with Jesus Christ been given us he's given us all spiritual blessing in the spirit in our in our spiritual inner man but the heart still needs to be renewed in the knowledge of God I mean the mind needs to be re renewed in the knowledge of God which means I have to submit this this blockhead of mine into sitting before him and trusting him walking throughout this whole entire day and into the night Knowing God. I want to say knowing and not knowing, but knowing that He has me. That I'm being carried by the Most High. Jesus is shepherding over me with His staff. The Holy Spirit is right here with me. Reminding me of peace. Reminding me of love. Reminding me of truth reminding me that the the devil is defeated the enemy is defeated God is exalted and there's nothing that anyone can do about it God is going to be God Jesus is going to be Lord the kingdom of, 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 of God is an everlasting kingdom and nothing shall destroy it the only thing that's going to happen in this life is that the number must come up the number of believers must come up those who are genuine those who are true must get into their word eat it and drink it and let the Lord lead and guide you with his staff his rod and his staff that's what takes you through I guess that's what takes you through the valley of the shadow of death you trusting and leaning on that rod and that staff you trust in the God of all the earth who made a promise never to leave you 
never to forsake you. I'll read the rest of it for yourself, but understand this. Sit as you sit down in this pool of living water. Let this water pass through your soul. Because it's what's being rewritten. He will write his words in your mind. And you'll be able to keep them. Situations and circumstances will come and you won't be blown away by the wind to act out in your in your own flesh to get something done. What did I write down over here? I will not respond by the will of my flesh, but by the will of God. God doesn't walk away. We do. We do. Emmanuel will not walk away. He is God with us. I will not respond by the will of my flesh, but by the will of God. And this is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. I pray that to your day just be blessed and you have a good one. In Jesus' name. Bye, my friends.